Hello, I'm David Pagan Butler. Now, oh, the um, pool in the greenhouse, this tiny little pool, three meters by two meters, is really low in water. We've had a drought for the last few months and there's hardly been any rainfall and I like to fill it with rainwater. Um, the water level should be, should be up here somewhere. Um, and so it's, it's about uh, six inches below what it should be. And it means that, you know, obviously the plants all around the edge are having a really hard time. And, um, and, and the pump's not working properly because it's now well out of the water. So um, I've got to put rainwater in. I thought I'll just quickly do a nice little video. I don't know whether it's going to be nice. Uh, anyway, a quickly improvised video because it's about to start raining and I just want to show how it's really simple to uh, wire up, wire up, to plumb, plumb in a, um, uh, a, a rainwater butt in order to fill, fill the pool. Because um, quite often the, uh, the pond or the pool can be quite a distance from a house or from any roof. And if you collect that roof water, it's great. But to pump it over, some people you know, don't really know how, to be honest. So um, uh, I'll, I'll just show you the, uh, just a very, very simple way to do it. Also, I have a skimmer under the jetty here, a really big skimmer made. But obviously, it's useless because it's out of the water at the moment. So I really need to get some more water in this pool. So at the moment, with this uh, really ugly guttering, the water runs off, helped by that rope down into this water butt. Now, to get the water out of this water butt um, down into the pond, Ideally, we'd have this slightly higher and then I could use gravity to feed it down there, but I'd have to, you know, cut a channel into the ground and feed pipes through. And uh, quite frankly, that's quite a lot of hard work. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put in a, uh, a dirty water submersible pump. I'm just going to float uh, switch. So when there's water in there, it will rise up and turn it on and pump water away. So I'm just going to show you how, how, how you can um, adapt this to uh, stick it on a, a long length of pipe so you could take the water, you know, whatever distance you like. Okay, this uh, dirty water pump, normally um, it just has a, uh, a uh, hose uh, adapter fitting that goes on it. Um, and, uh, and then you just push in a suitable piece of hose. I think this is, uh, is an inch and a half, inch and a quarter diameter. Um, oh, I think it's 30 millimetres, this one. Um, and, um, you know, and normally just screws on like that once you've pushed these, uh, this connector in, because it's got the bobs on it, it stays in place. Um, actually, you twist it round with this stuff, because it's a spiral. This um, spiral makes it rigid, and so if you work it in, if you want to fit one of them, you work it in like that. And, uh, and undo it. Oh, it's actually it's hard to undo, because uh, the spiral tightens up. Anyway, so we're not going to use that. Well, I'm going to use some of this blue Alcathene pipe, 25 millimeter stuff, and that comes in in uh, you know really long length, so I can get as far as I like. For this application, black pipe should be used because blue indicates potable water, but it's all I've got. In order to connect this pipe, I've got a right angle bend uh, for this uh, diameter pipe, 25 millimeter stuff. So that's a, a right angled um, uh, uh, coupling. Um, now the uh, just the trick is just what you want to do is just adapt it to to this. This is the, uh, the sleeve that, that normally goes over the over the pipe to retain it. But instead of instead of the uh, another bit of pipe, I'm just going to use the um, hose adapter. So if I push, I want this one first actually, and then um, uh, push the pipe retainer over it, it does actually fit on this one. Um, okay, so it just pushes pushes in. You can hear it clicking as it's going over the, um, the, the ribs on that. Okay, so once it's in there, and then if you pull on it, it's not going to come out because it's constricted. Um, uh, please excuse the geese. And there, so that, that just goes on. There. Turn the other one up. Do you need to, oh, actually, do you need to see? This, this is that's a standard fitting, so there's an insert in there. Yeah, I'll say that again, an insert in there. Oh, for quiet, you. 
Right, an insert in there, 25 millimeter, 25 millimeter pipe. That's where the, the uh, clip normally goes on. That pushes in. Okay, and that could be put, push that clip down, and then this will tighten up and hold it in place. But now back to our thing here. That's doing exactly the same. Just tighten that up. Okay, now it's got it. Okay. So we've adapted this pump. That should then go on there. Oh, actually, what I need to do is loosen that off first. Oh. Before I put this on, um, and I've put this on first. Oh, my God. Oh, there we go. And that. Okay, and then that'll be able to sit on the bottom of the pipe. Because we put a right angle bend on it, it will help us get it out of the uh, barrel. Uh, so we've got the pump. Just gonna drop it in into the barrel. So we've had a bit of rain already, which is great. And here I've got a hastily improvised um, outdoors. Oh, it's a toad. Oh my goodness. Wow. I haven't seen a toad in ages. They're really precious. Um, right, I'll work out what to do with you later. I had to uncouple this end because in order to drag the pipe around, it needed to uh, take out the twist. Okay. With this setup, it would be nice if I either went by the tank connector going through the tank, or at least a right angle bend, take it back down along the ground, because this is gonna get in the way. But it's okay for now. But if it's going to rain, we really do need a proper outdoor weatherproof socket. That's okay, because it's going on the gravel, it's not kicking up uh, too much sediment. If it was, we could put a spill stone in or something, something clean, a piece of flat piece of stone. But there it's actually okay. And as the water level is rising, the bubble pump springs back into life. And then the skimmer starts working again. And it's amazing how plants that have been dried out for weeks suddenly look revitalized again underwater. Alas, the respite from the drought was very short-lived, so thoughts of butt pumps are actually never far from my mind. Now, of course, I've spent so long making this film that there are now commercially available products that can uh, have it already sorted, and they fit directly onto garden hose. Now, I have gone and bought this one. They're normally mains powered, but actually this one is powered by um, a lithium iron battery. So I thought I'd try this, but the big disadvantage I can see with these is that it hasn't got a float switch. Anyway, um, I'm just gonna give it a go because it would be quite useful to have one that was portable, completely portable. So um, on the other slightly downside is uh, the cable. Oh, what a dreadful mess. Um, the cable to the battery is relatively short, so you couldn't use this um, in a in a you know deeper uh, tank or whatever. Um, but that's going to drop in. Right. And um, standard hose fitting on there. That could get, what I should do is take the take the other one out. Um, 
put this one in battery down there I should have tried this before now you would normally put a hose pipe on this end but in the meantime I'm just gonna put that because it's got a, uh, a stop valve in there if I don't put anything in so um, this one has as I said it's got a timer on it so instead of a float valve it can go up to 15 minutes uh, or five minutes uh, or you can keep it on permanently well permanently I mean um, but 15 minutes should be enough to empty a butt like this. Um, anyway, let's see if it works. Oh. Oh, yes. Ooh. Ah, there we go. So that's, like, that's actually really quite a nice flow. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good there. Um, so all we need now is a bit more rain and um, but anyway while we're waiting for the rain if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel that would be brilliant and um, remember um, oh, I was going to say embrace your inner frog but that's on my other t-shirt this one is a swimmer dragons anyway I'm hopping it bye for now